I think Google is clearly picking up on all the AI content. Google is hugely cracking down on auto-created content. How are the Jarvis written articles doing? Are they ranking on the first page or something? Because after watching you create articles with Jarvis, I've also started using it for my pet site. Did you have any success in any AI articles you made? Has it rank or have any traffic yet? Can this AI content rank on Google? Because this looked too good to be true. Hi Alex, did you get any contents ranked that generated by conversion AI? What about the organic traffics of those content pages? Are you getting good ranking slash traffic using conversion AI content? Those are just a few of the comments that I've been getting regarding AI content. I do apologize for the voices, I tried my best. But yeah, it's a question that I get all the time. Does AI content rank on Google? Now I've been creating quite a bit of content with Jarvis.ai recently. Jarvis is my favorite AI copywriting tool. By the way, if you've not checked it out yet, link up there and link in the description. It's an affiliate link. But anyway, I thought it was time that I took a look at those articles in a bit more detail to find out if they are getting any rank, are they getting any traffic, or is Google detecting it and penalizing it like some people say? So yeah, it's time to finally answer the ultimate question, does AI content rank? Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here. Hope you're all well. So in this video, I'm gonna basically take a look at some of the recent content that I've created with Jarvis.ai and just basically see if it's got any rankings. So let's start with this bit of content, which is over on my site, wheelalong.co.uk. I created it uh, actually within one of my tutorial videos. Um, that one, go check it out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, basically in that video, I take you through the entire process of how I created the article. The article is all about wheelbarrows. It's basically an ultimate guide to wheelbarrows and well, let's take a look at the Search Console graph to start with. Here we go. And as we can see, it's definitely ranking because it's getting some impressions and some clicks. And in fact, if you do a search on google.co.uk, because the site is a UK site, uh, do a search for like guide to wheelbarrows, um, it's on the first page. It gets about 60 views a month according to Google Analytics. One thing I should say about Wheel Along is that site is a bit of a struggle. I've been adding content to it, I've been building links to it, but the traffic, it's just a plateau, it's just flat. I can't seem to get any growth out of the site. It could be the niche or the niche, maybe that was a bad choice, the kind of wheelbarrow trolley niche thing. I don't even know what the niche is, it's basically things with wheels on it. Maybe it was a mistake to have a UK targeted site, I don't know, but the traffic is kind of plateaued on that site. so. It's pretty good that this article is actually ranking and getting a bit of traffic because in general the site, yeah, it doesn't do that well. Let's take a look at another one of my sites. Uh, this one is bestpressurewasher.com. It is a US targeted site. It's younger than we along, um, but it's doing better. <laughs> I've got to say, maybe it's a better niche or a better market. Um, I don't know, but it is growing quite quickly. One of the AI articles that I've got on that site is this one, which is the safety equipment guide um, in terms of you know stuff that you should wear or use when using a pressure washer to keep yourself safe. And I created this article back in August. It's one that I did during one of my live streams. So yeah, again, if you wanna see the entire process in terms of how I put the article together, you can rewatch that live stream. I'll put a link up to it now and you'll find links to everything I talk about in the description. By the way, if you've not dropped by on one of my Thursday live streams, you certainly should, it'd be good to see you. It's just kind of like a relaxed hangout kind of stream. I generally do work on my sites. Sometimes we have guests. Um, but it's good fun and yeah, it'd be great to see you. Let's take a look at the Google search console on this one and yeah, we can see that it's getting some impressions as well, getting a few clicks. It's not as old as I say as the other bit of content, so um, probably needs a bit more time. It's got a few keywords in a hrefs and it's getting a little bit of traffic. Uh, I mean, the site in general doesn't get a huge amount of traffic because it is quite young, um, but it's starting to show um, potential. There, there could be a bit of life in this article. Um, but yeah, it's definitely ranking. The third site that I want to show you is this one. It's best called Popper, which was actually just a site that I created for a bit of fun as a way of showing off uh, the popcorn theme. And it's turned into a proper affiliate project. And I've created quite a few bits of content for this site using Jarvis.ai. First one I want to show you is this one, which is why do some popcorn kernels not pop? Um, it's a pretty simple article. 
uh, as I say, created with Jarvis.ai. And if we look at Google Search Console, it's starting to take off. It's starting to get some impressions. It's starting to get some rank. I think it's currently at the top of page two for most keywords. So that's why it's not getting a huge amount of traffic yet, but it's definitely ranking and it's certainly moving in the right direction. Another bit of content from this site I wanna show you is this one, which is all about whether you should eat popcorn at night, uh, whether it's a good idea to do that. Uh, if you're wondering whether it is, you should definitely check out the article. And this was another bit of content that I created on one of my Thursday live streams. Put a link up to that stream now if you wanna re-watch it and see how I put the article together. It was created back in July, so it's been up for a few months. And well, this one is doing really well. I mean, let's have a look at Ahrefs to start with. There you go. We can see that it's currently ranking on Google US, that's google.com, for 72 different keywords. Let's take a look at the Google Search Console. That also looks really good. As you can see, the graphs are on the up, both clicks and impressions. It's had over 9,000 impressions over the last three months and 123 clicks. If we take a look at Google Analytics, that bit of content has actually had 179 views over the last 30 days. And yeah, that's a huge improvement on the previous 30 days. So really happy with this bit of content. So I think this article alone kind of proves that AI content does rank on Google. It can rank for a lot of keywords and it can bring in some good traffic. So there are the three main examples that I wanna show you in this video. Now, of course, there were a few other articles that I had created with AI that just weren't ranking particularly well, weren't bringing in much traffic. But then I've got a ton of other articles that were created by humans across all my sites that don't rank particularly well and don't bring in much traffic. So, you know, there's a lot of factors that influence how well an article does. Um, you know, including the keyword, the niche, how well it's written, the links you've got to it, you know, a lot of factors. Um, but in this video, I just kind of want to show that AI content can do well. Um, but of course, you know, it's not guaranteed. It does depend on what the article's about, as I said. You know, the thing with content is it's all about kind of just throwing content at the wall and seeing what sticks. And in my experience, you know, a lot of it won't stick. In fact, it's kind of like the 80-20 rule. Probably 20% of your content on your site is gonna generate 80% of your traffic. Uh, and it's kind of finding that good 20% of content that is gonna work well. And I don't think there's any kind of scientific rule to it. I mean, you can use keyword tools, that kind of thing, but generally you just gotta keep publishing and you'll get some articles and some bits of content that surprise you, that do really well. And you'll also have a lot of content that just doesn't. So does AI content rank? Yes, it certainly does. Can it bring in traffic? Yes, it can. Are Google gonna kind of crack down on it or anything like that? I don't think so because end of the day, it's just content. And when you put content together with AI tools, you're not just basically taking it straight out of the tool. You're generally editing it, putting it together and you know working on it, putting a bit of human input into it. So it's not like the old days where we used to have these article spinners or other horrible tools that just spewed out rubbish the AI content is at a different level to them, and especially if you've edited it well and put it together in a kind of sound, uh, logical way, I think you're gonna be fine. Before I go, I just wanna show you one of my other sites. The site is dartpicks.com, which is all about darts. It's a site that I picked up um, a couple of months ago now. I bought it off a viewer, and when I purchased it, the content on the site, well, it was pretty bad. It was really bad, actually. There's a lot of kind of copied, plagiarized content from, um, it had been ripping off other sites. It was badly written. It was in a bit of a mess. So what I've been doing, or when I say I, uh, Sue, my VA, she's kindly been doing it. She's been going through all of the content on the site and rewriting it using Jarvis. And I wanna use this site as a bit of a case study when it comes to Jarvis. I wanna create the entire site with AI content. Uh, I'm not gonna pay any writers or anything like that. And well, it is early days, um, but we have finally managed to rewrite all of the content that was on the site using Jarvis. There was over 30 articles and already the results look pretty promising. Let's take a look at Ahrefs. And let's say this is all content that's been rewritten with Jarvis. We can see that we're ranking for 1.1K keywords. So that's over 1,100 keywords ranking. And when you drill down, it's just a sea of green 
all of the content is moving up the rankings and it all seems to be performing really well. So I will have a full update on this site soon. I'm kind of uh, doing a diary style video about it in terms of you know when I bought it, all the work I'm doing on it. Ultimately, I wanna flip it. I wanna sell the site for a, a good profit. Um, and I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do that if it carries on moving the way that it is. So that brings us to the end of this video. And uh, yeah, AI content does rank and it can rank really well. Um, but of course, not all of your AI content is gonna rank because not all of your content is gonna rank. I'm gonna carry on using Jarvis, especially the boss mode, it's fantastic. It's great for someone like me that struggles with writing. I've always got writer's block. Um, <laughs> I find it difficult to kind of put articles together and Jarvis really helps me. I'd love to know uh, what you think about Jarvis and AI content. Have you had any success on your websites with your AI content? I'd love to know. Uh, leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out in any way, please click the like button. That really does help me out. And to avoid missing future videos, of course, there'll be that Dart Picks update video as well as updates on my other sites, then uh, click the subscribe button and click the bell and you should get a notification. Until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.